What's up, what's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. All right, so today we're talking about exponential and logarithmic models. So let's go ahead and do an example of each and how we can put in an exponential regression or a logarithmic re regression into either our TR84s, 83s, or even in Desmos test mode. All right, so with an exponential model, they'll give you a table. So here's a table. So we'll have to enter this table and to enter this table in our TI-84 or 83, we'll have to hit stat, then and edit would be highlighted, and number one would be highlighted. We're going to hit enter because we're going to edit that list. So we're going to enter our data. As you see, column one, column two, my x's and y's. Then from there, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and hit stat again, just like we did. So it's going to show up this menu right here but we're gonna to toggle over to the right and hit calc. So we're gonna to toggle to the right to calc and then toggle down to zero exponential regression and hit enter. And we hit enter, we're gonna hit enter again because that's what we want. And here's the formula, a times b raised to the x. And then we're gonna have our a value and the b value and also see how well that line fits, all right? Now, in terms of Desmos, just as easy, we're going to hit the plus sign and select table so that we can enter the table, as you can see here. And then on the next line, we're going to go ahead and type in that exact um, equation that we saw up here. So the nice part about the TI-84 is that that equation is already there for you, where on the Desmos, you're going to need to actually know that formula. Right now, since this is y sub one and this is x sub one, that's where we're going to put those in. Make sure you check off log mode, and then we are going to get the same a and b values, hence, we're going to get the same exact equation. And this is hard to see, I blew it up right here so that you guys can see exactly what I put in. Now, notice that I didn't put down equals, I'm going to put down approximately so that it knows that it's going to do a regression. All right, now for our logarithmic same idea right so here it is now yes it has three columns you're like uh which two columns do i put down because one has to be x one has to be y in this particular uh word problem it told me to put the dairy farms as the independent variable so let me put down here that independent independent variable means the x value and the y would be the dependent variable okay so with that being said same thing i'm going to hit stats and hit enter because the edit and the edit is highlighted or one is highlighted so that because i want to edit the list so that's where i would enter the data which i have the wrong data here but anyways oh Actually, no, I do not. I do not have the wrong data, sorry. Except this 1985 down to, because the other one is above this 266. So there's the data. Then I'm gonna go back into stat again and toggle to the right, and then toggle down until I get to the um, logarithmic regression, okay? So from the logarithmic regression, I'm gonna hit enter and enter again, because that's what I want. And again, it gives me the formula here and it's going to give me the a the value for a and the value for b and tell me how good that line fits okay it didn't fit as well as the exponential model however this is pretty darn good still all right so there's my a and b that I would just plug into my equation and there is the equation of my um, logarithmic regression in desmos same idea right the plus sign then hit table so I can enter the table. Now, notice what I did here, right? I entered the same thing here, but I also entered one that says minus instead of plus. But here is what I want you guys to realize. No matter what mistake I made here, either plus or minus, bottom line is that the B is going to adjust for what I put in, right? This is telling me that B 
is going to be a negative 34.6542, which means I would put down whatever the A value is, minus 34.6542 ln of x, okay? Where this one, if I put in subtraction, it's going to tell me my B is positive. So either way I do this, I'm still going to get the same exact equation, all right? So I hope this helps. If there's any questions, please let me know. See ya. Bye.